And that's essentially what happened in the garden. That, that Lucifer was thrown from heaven, he ends up somehow, and again, we don't know how all this happened, but he ends up in the garden and he tempts Adam and Eve with the very same thing that brought him down, and that was the desire to be like God. And it worked, didn't it? Worked all too well. At this point, it was a deception. Adam and Eve weren't necessarily looking to overthrow God. I don't believe it was their goal to overthrow God. They were deceived. But because they trusted Lucifer over God, they ended up breaking a sacred covenant, and they joined in a treasonous and violent, violent plot. Deception or not, though, the results are absolutely devastating for the entire human race. The crash changed everything. The offspring of Adam and Eve, although created in the image of God, became the children of the devil. The essence of their nature was ruined by self-absorbed motivations of sin. Now, this is a hard thing for us to get. We think about being made in the image of God. What, what happened here? Well, I like to use a browning example. I mentioned that my wife, Debbie, makes brownies, and she makes awesome brownies. And, and I can tell you that, that when she does it, she pours her heart into it. She gets the finest ingredients, and, and she makes some of the best brownies around. But if I told you, you know, last night Debbie was making brownies, she was making a batch, and she got tired, and so she just kind of sat them out on the table and, uh, or in the kitchen, and, and she left them by the sink, and then she went to bed. And in the morning, she got up and uh, came to get the brownies, and she noticed some rat droppings had gotten in there. Not that we have mice or rats in our house normally, but for some reason, this just kind of happened. And so she looked at it, and she said, what should I do? And, and being the frugal person I am, I said, well, just mix it all up, and nobody will know. <laughs> well, if that were the case, how likely would you be to eat the brownie? Nobody in their right mind would. And, and so you take something that in its essence, with all of its ing ingredients, was incredibly good and incredibly pure, and you contaminate it. With, with rat doo-doo or rat droppings. And now it becomes something, in a sense, that's untouchable for us. And I believe that this is essentially what happened to the human nature, that we were created in the very image of God. And when you look at the world around us, uh, you can still see vestiges of that image. You can still see people that are doing things that are good and doing things that are kind and understanding the importance of that. But at the same time, there is this thing called self. There's this thing called sin that takes everything that is good and somehow in the end corrupts it. And so what we find is that human nature has been hopelessly tainted because of this desire to overthrow God, which results in what we call sin.